Well, it's a new patch, a new meta, new itemization, and at least got quality of life buffs. They are huge buffs. Cooldown on that ultimate going down. Vision may granted when you hit them with a human Q or with the cocoon. Flash interactions of the cocoon as well. And her spider passive that does bonus damage and heals. When you repel onto a target, you would get that. If you didn't repel onto a target, you don't get that. Now, you always get it. Isn't it amazing? Also, as we have the Yona move up to most likely Ward, that we saw on the minimap there, always keep your eyes on the minimap, we have a uh, bot lane losing, so basically you are ready to learn things, because I'm sure all your bot lanes are into their asses off as well. Here's the thing. Fighters have less damage, but more HP. Tanks obviously have a little bit less MR, but also more HP. Overall fights are longer, and people are getting blown up less. Except for Elise. She do be blowing up absolutely everybody. And we do have the scanner here in first rotation. Ward's no longer grant experience, which does suck, but such is life. Most importantly, with the Storm Surge buffs that we received a little bit ago, plus things like Shadow Flame and Void, yeah, she does a lot of damage. And she always did a lot of damage, but now, because she also has a Spider from Q here that has a missing HP metric, you see that they're missing health magic damage. What is exactly the problem for Elise in terms of... Winning games, none. There's literally nothing holding you back as an Elise player other than yourself. And now you might say, well, isn't there a bit more like, you know, farming things that we have to do in this meta? And at least it's in a farm. No. Let me stop you right there. You can easily average seven CS per minute on this champion. Most of the time, you, I would say 6.5 is fine because you do want to be more active, but you can full clear down. You can look for these kind of ganks. We saw the Nidalee Path all the way down here. You know, the Q, the human form Q does current max health magic damage, so you've really got absolutely everything you need in your kit. CC, stuns, flash interactions, and beautiful itemization to take care of high HP and slightly lower MR targets. That's important, right? Tanks and fighters lost MR, and so <laughs> she likes that. Now, we do know Nidalee's down here, most likely sliding around for some kind of play. At least he's like, I can bait this also. When he's a fog of wall gap trick there, did Nidalee just flash against the wall? Yes, she did. We're going to repel in and go, whoopsie daisy, hit that cocoon spider ling, plus human form Q, plus auto attack. And we decide to retract. That's absolutely fine. See, this is where Elise is really strong. She's happy to kind of shadow these situations with the Nidalee's of the world and say, No, <laughs> it's usually my reaction in game. Just, just sad. You absolutely must head to Vakayi.gg. Not only do I have a free jungle improvement resource, I also have a dedicated program with jungle video courses, jungle coaching, coaching classes, a jungle VOD library, special weekly content you'll see nowhere else. All of this available through a premium jungle discord, which is highly active, a huge community that help each other climb using my jungle program and courses. As we have seen by everybody hitting their peak rank goals in split one and split two of season 14 as fast as possible. So to climb faster than everybody you know and to jungle diff every game you play, head to Vakayi .gg or click the link in the description below. Just, I'm, oh, my, my, my scuttle's gone. Nidalee knows that Elise will go to the top side here and actually decides to forgo the scuttle for now. Uh, from Elise's perspective, you would assume that the scuttle crab is being taken, so you don't even bother with it. Shen trades with Krabby, and Nidalee assumes the same thing, so let's see who calls a bluff first. Elise knows that Nidalee will outfarm her, counter jungle her, and so on, so we do need to get on the map here, and we do want the grubbies. Nice scan on approach. Wide angle, wait for the taunt here, we do have the cocoon as necessary, we're going to hold it off for an auto attack, the spiderling then shoots when you can hit that uh, Q as well. For those who don't know, I know most of you do, so just bear with me, you're going to chuck out an auto attack here, we're going to hold our cocoon obviously, actually no auto attack needed, just straight into the neurotoxin. Uh, there's the spiderling, the, the, the W, right, this is now going all the way to the left far away, okay, we're going to hit our cocoon, as soon as you form swap and hit the spider Q, that spiderling is going to fly and explode uh, onto the target. So, always huge to understand that your spiderling doesn't need to literally go at the target and hit it. You can always activate that just by hitting your, your spider form Q. And that missing HP goes mega. Now, Nidalee is most likely going to be on the bottom side at this particular stage. We see her briefly in the minimap. As always, keep your eyes up. And now you are level 4. We're way behind level 10. We'll hit level 5 in this camp. Um... You can definitely decide to perhaps go for the Grubbies, but they haven't yet spawned. We don't exactly know what Camps Nidalee has done or if the Scuttle Crab is available. We know she's most likely going to try and counter jungle us here, which of course she does. No surprises here from the Elise, but 0-0-1, down two camps, we're down 6 CS already. Look at the map here, our bot lane resetting, our bot lane out of whack, do we have mid lane prior? Can we maybe force a drag in here? 
Now, this is something that a lot of junglers don't do anymore. But when you are pathing downward, and the enemy jungler has a bit of a... Not a tempo advantage, a little bit farming tempo advantage, just a positional advantage, shall we say. You don't know where they're going to go in terms of here or go back up to the grubs. You currently have a guaranteed ability to snack this dragon out with mid prior and a level 7 Z. Uh, he does have ult as well. So you can basically use a shove here to just say, let me just get this objective. Because you're down on levels from the gank and missing camps and mechanical jungle, that gives you a huge amount of experience. And Nidley shows up here, chucks a spear, that somehow hits, I don't know how it does, but it does. See, Nidley's problem was she should have actually just bounced and got to the top side already. She's hovering, and Elise loves it when they hover because that's kind of what she wants. Now, this is not the most active game in terms of Elise getting kills, and I'm okay with that, you see? Because a video where I show Elise getting 14 kills level 3 and it's snowballing is very boring. Uh, well, depends on your perspective. <laughs> not boring, but you expect it to happen. But when you're playing Elise, those are the games you win, right? How do you win these games? As an Elise, as a ganking jungler, as something that is a bit more, you know, I, I need to get on the map, I need to make things happen. How do you win these games? And that's always important, because Nidleys and Shivanas and Hecarims right now are just loving this game. Farming it up, while you can't get any ganks off and you're struggling. Yeah, we got the Hextech Dragon, which is huge, but, you know... You can feel for the Elysia. It's like, I'm trying to do things, and nothing's really available. Shen moves down. Yone, again, taking the the, 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 the grubs a little bit, and uh, the Scuttle Crab, and making our lives a little bit irritating, but it's a level 4 Nautilus at 8 minutes, so that's the thing. This is where, and again, to my point, as an Elise player, you can farm, right? You do not have to sit in a bush for 12 minutes and wait to, perhaps, we get hit by a plant. You don't have to sit in a bush and be like, you can actually go farm, relax, take a dragon, just control your jungle camps. Look at this, if this is gankable, go forward, but obviously it's pushed in, the bot lane is 0, 3, 0 combined. There's no reason to force, and honestly with Elise, the Storm Surge being so good, Shadow Flame being so good, so much penetration, so much damage, it's all about getting those items, right? Because once you have those two, people will die, I guarantee it. Terms and conditions apply, that big, you know, hit your spells. Well, <laughs> it depends how far ahead you are and how many spells you need to hit. But most likely with the point and click, you're, you're, you'll be fine. So here again, you know, bot lane retract, go back to base, Nidley shows, and you're like, ah, I want to do something. And, you know, there's just nothing really available. Thousand gold in the pocket. Um, singular grub still remains. Same as in the video yesterday with the Javan. People kind of leaving those grubs alone. Playing the map rather than forcing. Good lesson. Talked about it on the main channel. Right, we do have Ather Wisp, so we can go a little bit faster gaming. That was nerfed slightly, but uh, it's still huge. Shen does a vault. Can we perhaps get going here? Because at this point, Nidley and everyone is kind of looking, right? We're looking, because the, the downtime between our camps is quite decent at the moment. So there's a lot of... Uh, there's a big period before the Krugs come up and everything comes up again. So you can kind of just invest in the gank here. So I'm watching as this goes. Uh, at least he's going to try and go in the Ogard here, then turns to Peel. It looks like he's kind of strong. Nidalee shows up there, our human from Woof! And that's it, that's it, that's it. Nice auto tech there from the Shen. Uh, Yone does rotate up here. We do have Repel. We could easily turn this. Uh, I felt like we could have maybe turned that on the Ogard. I do feel like that's a play we can make. Here comes the Zed as well, if you're watching the minimap. That Yone ult is really funny. Good flash to respect it. You have the cocoon up as necessary. That's what we want. Missing HP. Got nothing left. We'll die. Hmm. Not the cleanest. Not the cleanest, right? I do feel like we could have gone for the outplay. I think in a majority of MMR cases, not Grandmaster. Uh, you could probably make an outplay in the Ogot and be fine. But that's the thing, right? We've got a bit of downtime here. So we go for the play. No stress. And again, the games when you're at least like this are the hard ones to win. When you're fed, it's pretty easy because everybody just dies. And you don't have an out as a lease. You're not an Udi or you're not a Hecarim, so you've got to actually think more deeply about the game and be very, very patient. Here we go, there's a little ult, repel onto, missing HP, Q, polymorphed unfortunately. Kalissa gets a kill, nice hook by the Nautilus, and we'll take again, 0-1-5. But, we're going to get a lot of kills. In this game, there's a lot of kills going to a lease, but we currently have zero. It's 30 minutes, and we kind of want 6,000 gold by 14 and level 10. We have 4.6k gold at 
basically 13 and a half. And we will be level 9 after this camp, so... How the hell is Elise meant to catch up in this kind of game state when... Really? Only Callista has about 5,000 gold on her team. Well, it's actually pretty bad for the other team too. This is a very low gold game. Uh, and we're not, we're not actually level uh, 9, so I overestimated the wolf camp there. I'm used to sequencing at a much higher tempo, so that wolf camp is probably not the level it should be at this particular point, but... Again, such is life. Right, we do have the Storm Surge completed. This is the big item that we like. As you can see there, we've got ourselves a movement speed passive. That utility plus the base movement speed on the item, excuse me, makes this rotational thing that she has to move around the map in a spider form queue. Uh, spider form queue. When you're in spider form, you move faster, right? So Storm Surge amplifies that as well, which is why Lich Bane was always nice. They did nerf that down a little bit. This is 4% as well. But you can see there, dealing 25%. Of a champion's max HP gives you that extra movement speed as well. So it's like a built in phase rush in the item. So once you've blown a load onto the enemy, you're pretty damn mobile. You're repositioning, form swap, in and out, hit multiple cocoons, hit multiple repels, hit multiple spells of all nature. But once you have uh, Shadow Flame, I'm going to show you that uh, you only need one rotation. <laughs> We'll take this here, a dragon apiece, does it show, it says damage to champions and gold gain, because obviously you get uh, that passive there, just by the way, is, uh, can you just, have you noticed this, look at this, I hover it and then it disappears now, instead of holding it so you can read it, it's the replay, it just doesn't let me, it just disappears, but it grunts, you get gold passive as well, so it's like a mini first strike, yeah, cool, anyway. So, movement speed, mini first strike, extra huge amount of damage, 95 ability power, 15%, uh, 15 uh, penetration. We are a strong champion with this item. Let's see, what can we do? When are we going to come online here? Let's speed this up. I'm going to catch this wave. The threat of at least apparently is enough to chase the Urgot away. I guess he is far behind. Uh, dragon is down. Everything is down. Now it's basically just looking for those plays. This is where patience is important, my friends. Please be patient in game as well as right now. A lot of you throw games because you get impatient in this moment. You force a gank, you force a fight, you force a dive. Uh, we saw 100 Thieves do that at Worlds. Sorry for spoilers, but they did on Tuesday. It was the first day. Second day? Wednesday? Who knows? Wait. It's Thursday. Either way, don't do that. Over the wall, there's a flash. Everything from Nautilus, basically. Control your camps, shadow scenarios, take the Scuttle Crab. Now your team makes a pick, you make a pick. Now we can activate the Herald. How the hell are we going to play this out here? Big needlessly large rod in the infantry. Storm Surge plus needless. Mm-hmm. Next. I like to see. Good Herald. Just a side tip here. When you are a Fed Elise, and this is like 14, 15 minutes, you have 12 kills, right? Uh, this is the kind of thing you want. Make a pick. Hit your combos. Get two turrets with your, your Herald. That's the idea. Um, obviously, sometimes you cannot. Here we go. See, watch this now. Oh, Wait. Okay. Four people, so not wait, Shen ult. Patience. You are kind of like an assassin there. Auto attack, neurotoxin, spiderlings, uh, cocoons. Play it smart. Do not over commit yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who said you could do that? Uh, <laughs> rebels to avoid. Please, no. I don't want to get sucked in. Force to flash it. All right, that'll be dragging away to the blue team. Again, I love... As a coach, I love these kinds of games because these show me who is patient. Now, it's not an explosion of might like previous patches, but uh, that was a lot of damage. Damage done by Storm Surge already is at 203. 60 gold earned. Hmm. Also get that uh, bonus damage proc as well. Squall. 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 I don't remember the passive names very well. Like, I know what all the items do and what happens, but then, like, the passives and the way they work, the names... Uh, sorry, with the names, I don't. <laughs> I don't remember names of passives. Except for Rock Solid. Rest in peace. Uh, right. Cogs are available if you want those. Hippity hoppity. 2400 in pocket. That's Shadow Flame for 100%. We got it. Now, let's see what we can do in these fights. Okay, here we go. So... This game's been quiet, quiet, quite methodical. You know, down on farm a little bit. The Nidley's been able to get a couple of kills in these fights. The Yona's been threatening side to side. The Zed has been okay, but not impactful. Our bot lane are doing solid now. We really need to show this damage. So here we go. Auto attack. 
There's a cocoon. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, it looks weird, but you can absolutely take care of the Soraka, the Lulu, the Janas, the Sonas, the Seraphines in games where you have your team grouped up and they can handle the main guy. Take away their support uh, system that actually allows uh, the carry to exist. In this case, just take away Lulu. It's just gone. Explosion. But you, she will do this to other people in the game as well. Watch. Here's an electronic contest. We're a little low. So we want to make sure we zone properly and body properly. Yes, we do. Level 12 on the Nidley. 8.1k gold. We have 9k gold. We're 900 gold ahead of the Nidley, right? Okay, easy snack. Okay, here we go. See what we can do. There's the ult. Cocoon. Oh, that's a dead Nidley. <laughs> See that burst you're seeing there is that burst of damage. That burst of damage. See, it's a bursty item. Very, very bursty item. So if you can do 25% of someone's health, in that short time frame, that's when you get that burst of damage, right? With a 2.0. Oh, I say short time frame, but 2.25 seconds really isn't. Um, but that's a squall. It's not 200 damage, right? After two seconds, that coming in is, is a massive chunk alongside your harvest, your electric, your whatever it is that you're playing on your champion. Harvest is fine. Right. We're going to go for Zonius here. You can go for Zonius. You can go Death Cap. Uh, you can go Void Stuff if, if you desire. Be aggressive. Be intelligent at the same time. Like, I have nerfed Zonyas, but and that's because with the Vein and the Lulu and even the Nidley, like it can be tough to survive if you get caught out. So uh, there's the Zed, still doing a lot of damage. Here's the Urgot. Here we go. Form swapping. Polymorphed, not really doing anything. Ah, that's what we want. Cocoon, explosion. Zed says, I'll help myself with the Q. Noldus goes over the wall there. At least it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, big boy. Easy, easy, easy. There's Shatten. Killis is top side here, so this is what you gotta watch for. Killis is being top side. Uh, this is what I'm saying. People get excited. At least it's just like, I'm taking Raptors, guys. We, there's really no reason to force us. Now she rotates over here. That's a triple uh, kill waiting to happen, I think. There we go. That's why, because you can very easily die, although she still might die, it looks like. <gasps> she undermined my point, which was. Uh, let your team die. Take all the camps. Make a pick if you can. Push mid lane down. Shadow the Callista, perhaps. Take all of these camps too. All gone. Shoved base dragon. There's no reason to die with your team when they want to force a doom scenario like that. But once more, such is life. And you do make mistakes as a jungler. We all do. 629 though. Damage on the Storm Surge now. 662, by the way. Keep track of that a little bit. Uh, straight to the dragon. Here's Yona over the wall. Zed is over here. And see, this is what I'm talking about. It's where the Elise damage is massive. Look at the back line. There's the Elise there. Focus on the target. Hit the stun. Hit the cocoon. Spider Q does a lot of damage there. Reposition on the top side here. Form swap again. Scan to make sure you're not seen. Movement speed is massive. Wait for the next thing. Auto attack and neurotoxins. What you got. Obviously here. Be careful. Flash reposition. We do have the cocoon out. Oh, we're off of cooldown now. Where do we use it? Oh, there we go. We have gone back into Spider Form Q. Better from form, and she's running away. A little bit messy, but uh, we'll take it. Looking at both fights here, we zoomed out. In game, you don't see this, right? I don't think she should have run away from the fight, though. I think it was a mistake to do so. Um, I know we got, we can go buy Zonias, but I feel like once you hit that cocoon there, if all her cooldowns were up, that's a that's a dead person. So you don't really have to run away and overthink it it's just like oh look i hit the cocoon they're low i do better low so just do that and run away i mean play smart is all that weighs basically the lesson spiderling for the wave team will come now vein shows mid lane okay good so we can snack this baby up we'll smite to secure it back to base that'll be zonia's completed and uh, now again we've got this one you can go into banshees you can go into death cap depends on how far ahead you are and how uh, spicy you feel but all of a sudden, we're 7 to 9. And it's a very unassuming at least carry game. She does the most damage in this game. Or I think close to it. That's why I like this one. Because this is... You can do this whether you're behind, whether you're ahead. It doesn't really matter. But when you're behind, most of the leases do not relax like this. They force too much. They die too much. They're mad at being 0 one, five instead of saying, oh, cool. You know, like, I'll come online later with my itemization. They're too impatient. So next Baron is coming up already. That was quick. See? Quite early game, busy mid game and mid busy late game. Yone's bot side. 
And now the blue team just cannot afford to go anywhere because if you face check an Elise Cocoon in the brush, you know what happens. Now here, the Void stuff is le I would still think about the Void more than Death Cap, although it doesn't really matter because you've got Pen going nuts, right? You got Pen, you got 15, you got uh, 15 here as well. So you got a lot of penetration. In fact, there's just 15 across the board now. They changed the values. It was 18 a while ago. For many years. Sad. Right, Yana over commits on the bot side. He says, I can take this turret. Shen decides to ult to show up. And together, the ninjas do their business. We've got top side. Don't think we needed to foreshadow that one. Let's see what we got here with damage. Yeah, but I, I do think the... You don't need the death cap, uh, the the void necessarily, but you know we do have a jack show. Oh god, we are we do have a big. Whoa! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Now imagine if we had a good game, right? Imagine if we had a really good game. We had these items sooner. That's my point. Okay. Here we go. It's pretty straightforward. We smack the cocoon. We know we got that time because we we're starting to max that ability as well for the stun. And it's very easy to hit ourselves a W, Neurotoxin, and then go all in for the Omegas. Uh, or, or, or that. Don't do that. A little aggressive. Either way, <laughs> you saw that damage. Bonus damage here is now at 1424. Uh, bonus gold is at 210, so... Think of it this way. It's not going to fund you much, but it will fund your control ward enterprise, which allows you to make better picks. That's the way I would view it. This is only really this is the only real way to view it. Shen taunt of the wall. Killis is going in here. Lulu ulti. This is what you're worried about when you die. Uh, Zed goes all the way in. See, Zed's doing a good job along with you just assassinating targets. And now, this the blighting into void. I think he would be more lethal, but obviously there are diminishing returns. At some point, you want to scale up the AP. So because there's just really oh god and nobody else, I think it's fine. But if there wasn't like a tankier jungler or a tankier support, then please, the, the, the Blighting Jewel will, will do a lot. You know, it will do a lot. Because that's percentage penetration, whereas what you currently only have is flat penetration, and that is a, that is a bit of a difference, right? Like flat, pen, flat plan is not percentage pen. Um, are you... Okay, so let's look at that again, because we're having a fat chat, and the replay decided to lose all frames. <laughs> like, the poor vein. And that's like, again, you don't need the percentage pen uh, in that situation, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this game just because it's really more realistic in terms of, hey, you want to climb? These are the games you're going to figure out how do I have impact, how do I scale, and how do I end up at you know, like 9, 3, 11? Um, you know, tied most kills with the Z, how do I come up with some of the... <laughs> you see? Now just imagine this happening like 10 minutes sooner because you have a bleed. That's the point. You just gotta relax, get your items, and then just do that. And uh, it's really... I don't think I need to say any more.